All right, we're here for the continuation of Ross Bridge. We are on the back nine now. We are playing GS Pro Auto Putt with a Garmin R10. These tees are right at 6,500, something like that. One of the green tees, maybe 6,300. And we start off the back nine, uh, kind of how we finish the front wayward shot into the woods, forcing a layup between the trees. Ross Bridge, I really like in general. Uh, the layout and the holes, and they're all very interesting and cool. The forest is dense, but the fairways are nice and wide that make you feel like you can <coughs> take a rip at a driver or whatever. Right there, we bogey immediately to move to plus five for the day. A really toey bad shot here on 11, a par three, leaving 41 yards. Trying to dial that number in, it's online. And it's really good. I played this round on ultra setting, and I wanted to see like what kind of lag I got, because usually I can play on medium, and it's really smooth. The ultra, by the time it gets to the video editing and the compression and the YouTube, it doesn't look any better. Um, like It may look better to me on my original computer screen, but not really once it gets to this point so I'm not gonna be playing the ultra setting uh, unless I get like a 4k projector and a amazing gaming computer to compute all that we end up saving par on a chip that I thought for sure was doomed we go to a par 5 5 5 1 good drive 18.6 launch 33 spin it's in the rough, but 260 carry is good for me. Just trying to advance it down the hill. Been kind of struggling with like a 200 club. That one landed about 200 without the downhill. 71 yards left, and good birdie chance. It's got a kick left. It misses the edge of the circle by a couple inches, and we're forced to take a par there. Look at this hole. The holes with water on them here at Ross Bridge I really like. I get a little skippy with this Ultra too, so no visual improvement for you, the viewer, uh, and visual impairment for all of us while we have to watch a choppy golf sim. We end up parring there, getting it in the one putt. Here's another cool hole, a short par four. That's just a uh, the little driving wood is what I'm calling that. 226, that's a good carry for that. Try to play this one back in my stance. It's going to leak out to the right a little bit and be safely a par a couple yards away from a birdie. Here we go to 60, another par 5, and another good drive off on the way. We're really getting that spin down. Uh, if you go back and look at some of my previous videos, I'd be driving it, and the spin would be at 4,200. So to have it at 3,200 is uh, much, much better conditions for getting a couple extra yards. Just got to chip it in the small circle to get a birdie oh. here. It, it almost rolls out, which would have killed me. But we get the birdie. We go to plus four. We got two holes left to try and get this down even more if we can. Very We're aiming right at a bunker to try and peel it back towards the water. And uh, it stays pretty straight and goes right at the bunker. 99 miles per hour out of the sand ain't gonna get there so we gotta do a nice chip hopefully landing in the one putt circle and it does staying at plus four going to the 18th hole trying to make something happen and that's the spinny one 20 degree launch 
which the Garmin thinks is spinny, even if if I hit down on it and it got 20 degree launch, it is spinny. 140 across the water from the sand, and that's going to come up short. Not really a surprise. 20 yards short, though, and chipping to try and save the par. Keep your head down. Ooh, almost jarred it. Par plus four, the round ends. You can see the front nine much worse than the back, but a good course, definitely something I recommend people go play and see what you think about it. Comment below once you do.